prove anything, you know? No. But if they were killed for witchcraft, how does that tie with our victims? The ferocity of the attack means there was a lot more than just mistrust. I know. And the fires. Why are they targeting children? I think that's an act of purification. These things were seen as contagious. Why stop at the mother when she could have passed it on to the children? Who could be doing this? 500 years ago, it was the church. I'm afraid whichever way you look at the motive, these are religious killing. You know, if Brandon finds out that I've asked you to explore this half the night, do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Explore it. Church of England. Was she practicing, or was that just what it said in her passport? Well, we weren't churchgoers, if that's what you mean. We got married in the church? Yes, we did. And you had your children baptized? Yes. How do you explain the brand new Bible in the back of her car? I, I don't know. Had she been exploring any religions? Uh, I don't think so. Did she believe in God? I'm sorry, I don't see the relevance. No, I'm not expecting you to. I just need as big a picture of Juan as you can give me. No, I... I don't think she did believe in God. Although I'm, I'm hoping she's being proved wrong right now. Do you know what she was working on? No. Was there anything in Joanna's life you were aware of that could have got her killed? No, nothing. What hand do you write with? Me? Yeah. My right? Why? You don't have to lie, Mark. I'm trying to find out who killed your wife. I'm not lying. Right-handed people who look to the left when answering questions or remembering the truth. Right-handed people who look to the right before answering questions or trying to create information. It's all about opening or closing the body. You do it subconsciously. Why was there a Bible in her car? What was she working on that put her in danger? I don't know. Mark, are you sure there's something you're not telling us? Why wouldn't I do that? My wife is dead. Why would I hold anything back? Because sometimes we avoid confronting those things we're afraid of. Let's say I was in your position and I knew something. Something small. Might be relevant, might be nothing, but it's something. And I don't know if it's important or not, but I'm afraid it might be. And I'm afraid that if I tell anyone, it might bring on what I'm most afraid of. You could understand that, couldn't you? Afraid of whoever killed you and it might come back here and finish what they started. was a priest. What was? Who she was meeting. He was helping her with her story. What was the story about? <laughs> what about his name? That's all. And that's what you were afraid of? <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen, Mark.
Detective Inspector. Uh, no. Uh, the Bishop's Office said you'd like to see the archive. Please. Thank you. People seem to be obsessed with the Norton Witches. The Abbey was French, I believe, run by monks from Reims and Burgundy. There's nothing, I'm sorry. We thought you'd have details of the trial? Only if it took place within the jurisdiction of the ecclesiastical court. Inquisitions and witches' trials were ordered by the civil courts, beyond our jurisdiction. But I thought the church was central to these trials. Only insofar as we're responsible for the beliefs of the community. But it was the people who tried the witches and the heretics. Of course. Heretics? Yes. Maybe they're mentioned in a correspondence of the time. Although, of course, after the split of 1431, the records are largely incomplete. It's highly likely that the splinter group presided over the trial. Where would they have been based? Nowhere. They became a secret religion. What happened in 1431 that caused them to split? Ah, the execution of Joan of Arc, driven by the voice of God to defeat the English. It split France as it split the Abbey. Those who supported the English stayed. Those who believed in Joan, those who believed she really had heard the voice of God and was not a witch or a heretic, went underground. All the symbolism is about St. John. Killing with the sword. Burning and cleansing the heretic. That's what our victims were killed for. Acts of heresy, not witchcraft. Tried and killed in secrecy for not believing. Just switch on the news every night. How many people are killed in the name of religion? This is happening all over the world. People persecuted for their beliefs retreat into themselves and eventually become intolerant and intransigent sects. And anyone who opposes the doctrines or principles of that sect, pay for it with their lives. And you think this religion still exists? Why not? Other religions have lasted far longer. OK. Let's just suppose you're right and what we have here is an underground religion who by nature are secret. How do we find out who they are? Richard and Leanne's parents thought they'd eloped. Had they contacted a vicar? Did any of them go to church? If so, which churches did they go to? We're looking for religious connections to our victims. Any line of inquiry? Mark Draper used the word priest. A vicar's a Church of England. Priests are Catholic. The Church of England didn't exist 500 years ago. Norton Abbey was Catholic. It's a Catholic parish boundary. William Shaw went to the Catholic Church in Renton. The priest there is on retreat until tomorrow. Well, that's what we were told. <laughs>